This is the solar container house that's being built. And the good thing with containers is you don't have to worry too much about being too fancy with everything because they are, if they're used, they've got a few dents and dings in them. So what I've done is put a sliding door and sliding window in. The solar panels are going to go on the roof. The roof has been painted white to help reduce the heat. And because the house has got a black and white theme, so the container also has a black and white theme. So the earth ground for the main grid and electric, solar electric is here. This is a rod buried about two meters in the ground. This is the ground or earth. So that's connected inside to a transfer switch. And here's the mains grid coming in. So the mains grid is buried underground. It comes up in this pipe and it's connected into the container here. But inside there is a transfer switch and I've set the primary as the Here's the solar shed, by the way, with the 1200 watts of solar on the roof. I've set the primary for solar on the transfer switch and secondary for grid. So if the solar's off, then the grid comes on. But there's still a work in progress because we're gonna put a awning on the front and then this uh, decking, gonna probably cover it in AstroTurf. I think that would look good with AstroTurf. And then you can take your shoes off when you go inside and leave the shoes out on the AstroTurf. And this whole area will be protected from the rain with an awning. And we've been up on the roof today, painting the roof white. And we're using a metallic rust inhibiting paint, kind of an epoxy white on the roof. So solar container. Work in progress, but it's getting there.